love yours after a long time i have come up with a very new tutorial which is how to beautify a portrait and how to make outstanding portrait from a normal one so this is the normal image and i'm going to beautify it like this okay now we can start our work for the first i'm going to make two copy of this background layer therefore I'm copying it now I have to uh, separate this uh, subject from this background therefore I'm going to uh, select the quick selection tool and just selecting carefully the subject And please be careful on selecting subject because uh, here the edges will be counted we have already selected this subject don't worry about the edges because we had the refined edge option therefore we can uh, refine um, our, our edges now uh, click on select and mask now I'm going to take the refined edge brush tool and just brushing the outer edges of this subject here we can see that the edges is not clear after refining it so now I am going to take the quick selection tool again and selecting this area again. So this area is selected again. Now I am going to our uh, refining each again. Now give a little bit radius around 25 here 22 is perfect I think a little bit lower will be more perfect 9 I'm going for 9 click on ok so the subject is selected now I'm going to take the layer mask therefore this subject is masked now what to do just uncheck this background and press ctrl and click on this masked area now the masked area is selected again and now uncheck this also So go to this background copy layer and go to fill and give content aware and the opacity will be 100% and click on ok. We are just going to banish this subject from this background copy layer. So the subject is banished uh, but uh, it has some spots which will be removed now I'm going to deselect it and take the spot healing brush tool and just clicking on this area where the spores are actually Now I think spores are disappeared uh, successfully. So click uh, check uh, this back, uh, this layer again. Now what we can do? Now we can add some lights. We can uh, add some adjustment layers to beautify it. 
I am going to decrease the brightness of this background therefore click on the background uh, copy layer which is this then take the adjustment layer which is brightness and contrast from brightness and contrast just decrease the brightness around minus 60 is perfect for this now decrease the contrast also around 20 ok it looks good now I'm going to add light therefore on top of the layers just take a blank layer and take the brush tool and take a color something like yellowish I think this color is okay now click on okay and just click on the middle no my brush wasn't perfect therefore I'm going back and taking a soft brush which is this Now make the blending mode to screen and reposition this light as you want. Like if you want like this then you can do I think this is okay now just we have to reduce the opacity of this light now we can take another adjustment layer which is a gradient map and take this gradient this one and click on ok and give the blending mode to soft light and just give the opacity uh, a decreased opacity around sixty sixty two is enough for this now taking another adjustment layer which is color lookup and this was this is a soft warming look now I'm taking another adjustment layer which is a gradient map and taking this gradient I'm again giving the blending mode to soft light and decreasing the opacity around 9 now I'm going to take another adjustment layer which is uh, I don't know which will looks good maybe I'm going for color lookup ok I'm going for color lookup and taking this one now it is looking uh, something like monochrome therefore we have to reduce this opacity around 45 is ok for this Now we are taking another layer and taking the brush tool and making this uh, foreground color is black. And please be careful uh, about the opacity and uh, make it to around 100%. And just brushing all over the canvas.
Now take a layer mask and again take the brush tool, click on middle of this image. Now we have to reposition it carefully, like Now it's looking like that the light is fallen from there and uh, other side is um, enough dark therefore the subject is mostly highlighted. Now I am decreasing this opacity a little bit. Not much. Around 90% is okay. Now I am going to take another ad adjustment layer which is uh, exposure and um, giving offset around point zero two fifty. So this is the final improvisation now we can see what was before and what is now just press alter and click on this background layer so this was before and this is after hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please keep liking and commenting on my videos so that i will be uh, encouraged to make more videos for you and uh, thank you for having here